Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 22nd of December. I was just about to write it down. Wow. So happy age of the Aquarius. How is that going for you? I do apologize for my, I for, completely forgot to publish the reading for the 21st. It is coming up today as well but just uh, I found the energy of the 20th I had this dream that I was in this wave and I just got tumbled around and around and around and I was very calm in the middle of it but I was just like I don't know which way is up and I had to wait for it, it to stop and then go okay and I was breathing very calmly through the middle of it but I was going okay now which way is up and that's exactly what my day was like it was a crazy day there was a lot happening a lot of big decisions there's a lot of things happening here around near where I live around COVID which I know is affecting a lot of people in the world uh, but uh, yeah it's just a lot of stuff happening so let's see <laughs> As I'm recording it, it is the 21st, so happy Age of Aquarius. Let's see what day we have coming in for the 22nd. We have the Glencona. Uh, we have the Ra around the home. We have the Feline around work and career and money. We have G. Hosba and we have... Opponent's wild daughter. Wow. Okay. There's no going back. <laughs> There's no going back today. But that might be exactly what you're wanting to go back to another time where things were so much easier because um, it's just these energies of the day are very much um, an energy of wanting to pull you backwards uh, big time. And luckily there's some energies here trying to stop that from happening, but there's some very strong energies. Uh, so, Let's look, and this is just not, this is, I feel like for a lot of you, a very strong resistance about stepping forward into something. So into the new, the unknown or an uncertain future as well for a lot of us. So it's interesting. I do think, you know, you can transcend this energy as well, any energy you can, but um, you know, there is a lot like this higher consciousness is coming and hitting the earth. How uh, open you are to that, um, how many, how much um, emotional, karmic, energetic baggage you're still carrying will affect that as well. So, you know, this is all a process, a, a, a process of purging perhaps that some of us are going through. Uh, and it's kind of like, um, yeah, I just, I just keep getting, there's no going back and and the energy of being pulled back. So we have the Glencona as an overall energy. And when he comes out, look at the way he snarls. He's very much, you know, I'm happy to lead you down this path. Uh, but he's kind of just actually what he's saying to me is, what were you thinking? <laughs> what were you thinking? And um, he's very much um, non-accepting of anything new. He's very much... You know, why would you believe something you can't even see or feel? That's ridiculous. A, ske a very sceptical energy, a suspicious energy. He's very much like, oh, I told you so. And um, oh, he's just got, a, he's nasty. It's a nasty energy. And so I do feel like this is just, you know, an element of um, fear or resistance, really. Sa sabotage as well. Uh it's a non-believer. This is someone that doesn't believe in the higher realms or doesn't believe in the truth or doesn't want to believe in that. So this is that energy that sometimes when you step into that higher, um, you step into a new energy, this energy comes through really loud and clear. Uh, or just not wanting to, I'm also getting for a lot of people not wanting to even have to face the future because of some of the things that are happening at the moment. So there is a... Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot. It's a heavy energy, I have to say. So I'm hoping that some of you are not experiencing this, that, like I said, this is all stuff that um, is like a lower vibrational energy at the moment that's coming out. But around the home we have the Ra, so there is a sense of hope. There is a sense of being able to rise above it um, in your home space. That's probably the best place for you to be feeling somewhere where you're feeling comfortable, safe and at home. This can just be within yourself as well. Um, sometimes home represents sense of self. But there is this, uh, the Ra is able to rise above the darkness and become light. So that's what I, there is this sense of ability to be able to rise up about uh, away from that. So that kind of energy that's coming through. 
But around career and finance, we have the feline. This might be um, feeling very out of sorts if you're being, um, if you're still working. Some of us are off on breaks, depending on where you are in the world. If you're still working, you might be feeling very um, just like you don't want to be there. You don't feel like working. There can be a lot of people who are irritable around you at work or just grumpy. This could mean there's something that you still have to finish up before you might go on a break. There's something you need to look at. It's just those loose ha- loose ends hanging over you that need to be tied up and cleaned up when the feline comes out. And love and relationships, we have G. Hosbar. And, you know, I, he's a very strong energy. I like him coming out with these other energies around because he's kind of saying, I'm not listening to you. He's surrounded by these two energies, opponents, wild order, Uh, wild daughter and the feline and just you can see he's got his hands up like I'm not listening to that any kind of crazy wild theory any conspiracy theory anything that is fear-based can you hear that so beautiful that is the black cockatoo and the black cockatoos are so such an incredible symbol of creativity and connecting to your spirit. So that's kind of, you know, it's interesting that message came in loud and clear for you. That, and that's what this guy does is he doesn't let the shadow side take control. He stays in the center and doesn't let fear overcome him. He says they're not real fears. I'm staying true to my spirit. I'm tra- staying true to what actually does feel right to me deep down inside, but it's um, very much trying to um, put the blinkers on with some of the energy surrounding you. So that's really good for around love and relationship. It might be that there's people around you, like we said, that are having a lot of um, emotional or strong reactions to things or saying things that are triggering you. I'm trying to um, make you feel bad for whatever reason. And this is very much like I just need to be um, not listening to that. There might be a lot of fear whirling around as well. So I'm not listening to that. So the opponent's wild daughter, she looks to the past. She's looking to the past. And there is an element of um, even panic, or an element of um not based in or grounded in in any kind of reality. There's a slight madness to it, Um, this energy of uh, everything is, I'm nothing's good. I'm not wanting to be in the present moment. I'm looking back to when the good times is, but even the good, what she's looking back on is all distorted. There's a distortion of a perception that's coming through here, uh, which is, um, uh, deception, uh, deception. It's an interesting choice of words that just came out. A perception, <laughs> deceptive perception uh, of looking back to the past and not being able to see something clearly. This could be a lot of misinformation coming in as well. Um, that's what I'm getting with her. And it's like I'm not turning around and looking at that future at all. So There's a a huge fear of the future coming in um, today, which is going to trigger a lot of you. uh, But I do feel like that there are a lot of positive energies around it. There is um, just a a few things that need to be cleared up and cleaned up and to stay true. There is ability to um, rise above this, but find a comfortable, safe place somewhere where you're feeling um, that you can rise above this and feel lighter. So, yeah, it's um, interesting energy, but that's the energy for the 22nd of December. Please take care for all of you. And um, I shall hopefully see you soon. My p- travel plans a little and break plans a little bit up in the air at the moment with all the things that are happening. So I will keep you posted with that. I'm hoping to continue with the readings, but I will let you know if that changes. Uh, But take care, all of you, and see you tomorrow.